Hi there. Okay. Um, so today we're going to kind of step it up a little bit, but before we do, uh, the last thing you guys did was page two and three in your booklets. Okay. And I'll make sure I put the answer keys for both of those up. Cause I think I only showed you the answers for one. Uh, but today we're going to start on page four and we're going to look at two step equations. Okay. All right, here we go. So a two-step equation means there are two things happening to x, okay? So to isolate the variable, so to get x by itself, you do the reverse order of operations, which is bedmiss, right? And the reverse order means undoing, adding and subtracting first, and then undoing multiplication and division next, right? So you would have watched the, um, uh, the video from Math Antics, and then hopefully you watched a little bit on the story of X. So you, you'll see two different ways to work at this. Okay, so let's give this a try. So the first one says, uh, solve the following equations, okay? So, uh, I'm going to set up my little T table or my flow chart. And I'm going to take a look first at what is happening to X. What is the closest thing? Well, X is being multiplied by minus 2. Okay. And then what's happening? It's being added. 3 is being added. Okay. So now on the other side to deconstruct this, I'm going to want to minus three and divide by minus two. Okay. Or if you wrote out the word bed miss and you looked and said, Hey, I see multiplication. So I'm going to have to do division and I see addition. So I'm going to have to do subtract. Whoops. I'm going to have to do subtraction. Okay. And instead of moving this way, you move this way, that works too, okay? Whatever method works for you, okay? So I'm going to start here. So I want to subtract 3 from both sides. Uh, okay, so subtract 3, because remember, whatever you do to one side, you have to do the other side of the equal sign. So now I have minus 2x equals 4, not 7. Okay, so I've done that one, and now I'm going to divide everything by minus 2. Okay, so divide everything by minus 2, divide everything by minus 2. So minus 2 divided by minus 2 is just x. 4 divided by minus 2 is minus 2. Okay, and then we can check it and see if we got the right answer. You always have to use the original equation. Okay, so minus 2x plus 3 equals 7, minus 2 times minus 2 plus 3 equals 7. So this gives me 4 plus 3 equals 7, 7 equals 7. Right on, we got that correct. I love checking my answers, okay? And I like that in this linear equations, you can do that for every question, okay? Uh, next one, let's take a look here. I'm gonna make my little table again. How was my equation constructed? And then how am I going to deconstruct it, okay? So first thing I see, the first thing happening to x is everything is being x is being divided by 2 and then we are adding 3 okay so opposite of plus 3 is minus 3 opposite of dividing is multiplying so it was set up like this so I'm going to start at the bottom and work my way up right or if I wrote out bed miss okay I can see I have division so I'm going to want to do multiplication, and I have addition, so I'm going to want to do subtraction. Okay, so let's give this a go here. So first thing I'm going to do is subtract 3 from both sides. Took care of that. 
And I'm going to have just x divided by 2 equals 11 minus 3 is 8. Okay. And then I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. Multiply this by 2. Multiply that by 2. So the 2's cancel out, and I'm left with x equals 16. Okay. So let's check it and make sure we got it right. So I have x over 2 plus 3 equals 11, 16, and I'm just using different colors just so you can see my work and just so you can see me replace x with the value we found, so equals 11, okay, x or 16 divided by 2 is 8 plus 3. Left side, 8 plus 3 is 11. Right side, 8 plus 3 is 11. Right on. Excellent. Okay? So you're just always simplifying each side of the equation until you see, hopefully you have the same number on both sides. Okay? <clears throat> Take a look at the next page. Okay, the next page says, at the top here, it says a flow chart can be used to help you organize the order. In which you need to solve and we've already been doing that, which is awesome. Okay, so let's take a look here. Here's our flow chart. Okay, we're constructing and deconstructing. Let's take a look at this equation. First thing happening to X. It's being multiplied by three. Next thing happening to x, it's being subtracted by 4, okay? So the opposite of this, okay, we're going to add 4 and then divide by 3, okay? So give that a try and let's find out what x equals. Okay, and now you can check it. Hey, -o. right on. Okay, so we got it right. Okay. So I'd like you to try the next two ones as well, okay? And I will post my answers for those ones as well, okay? Uh, turn the page. It says, to make sure you correctly solve for X, you can check your work. To check, put the answer for the variable back into the original equation. Okay, simplify each side. And if both are equal, then you are correct. Okay, now we have already been doing this, which is awesome. Okay, so here it gives you uh, three more questions that are very similar to what we have already been doing. Okay, uh, so let's try, let's try one more together and then I'll put the rest up with the answer key on uh, Google Classroom. Okay, uh, so here we have 16 equals minus 5x minus 4. How is it constructed and how are we going to deconstruct it? Okay. So X, first thing that happens to X is it's multiplied by minus five and then we subtracted four. So when we deconstruct it, we're going to add four and divide by minus five. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. 
So I'm going to add four to both sides. So I get 20 equals minus 5x. Okay, did that one. And now I'm going to divide by minus 5 on the right, divide by minus 5 on the left. And then I get x equals minus 4. Okay. So let's check our work. So I have 16 equals minus 5x minus 4. Okay, so 16 equals minus 5 times minus 4 minus 4. 16 equals 20 minus 4. 16 equals 16. Right on. Okay, I'd like you to try the next two questions and I'm going to put the answers up and let me know how you did. Okay, awesome job, way to go.